Welcome back to Africa Live. Now, since the departure of the extremist group Al-Shabaab in 2011, Somalia's National Security Forces and their African Union mission in Somalia partners have been collecting and destroying unexploded ordnance from all over the Somali capital, Mogadishu. Carol Oyola reports on how the United Nations Mine Action Service is working towards ridding the city of these dangers. A convoy of military vehicles makes its way to a secluded area in the Medina district of Mogadishu. Explosive stockpiles, weapons, ammunition caches, improvised explosive device IEDs, all abandoned by the Al-Qaeda-linked group Al-Shabaab. These continue to pose grave threats to civilians, government soldiers and Amisom troops. The United Nations Mine Action Service, UNMAS, has trained over 1,000 Somali police, Amisom and humanitarian staff. They are not only trained in IED detection, removal, counter IED operations and medical procedures, but in disposal as well. It is very important to destroy these things because, you know, if they are like that, uh, these guys, or call them al Shabab, they can pick them, they get explosives in it, then they use them to make a bomb, yeah, homemade bombs, which can, where they can use to target our convoys, uh, fair friend, fair uh, Somalis. So that's why we have to demolish them. Kasakende and his team, alongside their Burundian counterparts and new mass mentors, endeavor to demolish a stockpile of unexploded ordinances each week. They detonated about 75 kilograms of explosives on this outing under strict safety guidelines that are closely coordinated with local government officials. According to Yunmas, nearly every community in south-central Somalia suffers from a degree of explosive remnants of war contamination, and few have the support or capacity to deal with these threats. The UN Department reports that more than 15,000 items of unexploded ordnance were safely destroyed. Carol Oyola, CCTV.